Hello Capricorn, welcome back in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's see what messages come through for you, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Month of November 2022. Anything, everything that you need to know. Uh, okay, and we're going to have some miscellaneous messages at the end of this reading, right? So, Capricorn, month of November 2022. First chakra. Archangel Michael. Okay. For a lot of you, I see um, Capricorn. You need to focus on your root chakra, especially, especially root chakra when it when you enter this month, right? There are going to be instances where your confidence is going to matter a lot. Your self-belief, your self-confidence, how worthy you feel of yourself and how much confident you are of yourself. You're going to find yourself in situations where you might feel that I don't know, you know, you might feel some sort of uh, under, I'm just getting confidence can be one of the issues and second can be how secure you are in a situation. Some security issues, emotional, financial and very private to you, right? Some issues which are very private to you can be a matter of concern. And uh, for a lot of you, I see you need to focus on your root or the base chakra, focus on the, on the meditation, focus on your cleansing and healing. And also focus on um, your emotional security, especially, right? For some of you, I see some sort of, again, remember, uh, we have the financial constraint thing here. For some of you, root chakras, root chakra directly talks about how secure you feel in your own skin, right? It has nothing to do with the outside world. Your uh, equation, your relationships with the outside world actually start from the sacral chakra right the second chakra from the bottom this first chakra talks about how safe and secure you are in your environment for some of you i'm getting here that um, you're in that situation right now we're feeling a little insecure this can be money money is showing up very strong so maybe right now you're facing some sort of constraints when it comes to money matters and for rest of you this is about feeling secure in your relationships right and you're going to only feel secure in your relationships when you feel secure within yourself if you have some trouble with your within your base chakra you're going to experience that blockage everywhere not just in a particular relationship or in a particular situation because the problem lies within yourself and that requires healing i'm picking up right so um any situation that's that's somehow you're feeling that any situation is bringing back some childhood trauma, some childhood memories or some past energies which is getting stuck in your root chakra. Focus on your healing, right? Focus on self-love, focus on uh, meditation. And of course, I'm picking up finances also for some of you. So finances can be one of the very important aspects that you're dealing with right now and your focus is there. So we're going to dive in deeper. We're going to see how things unfold for you. Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So we have lovers. Mm -hmm. You're coming from a place of a choice that you just made or there is a very intense connection in your surroundings that you just can't avoid. Wheel of Fortune, like look at the major arcanas. For a lot of you, I see there are big changes happening in your connection with somebody. And uh, this is a lucky time. For a lot of you, I see a lucky time. And then we have Six of Pentacles. I'm getting this energy here, Capricorn, that you guys are experiencing some massive changes in your current connection. It's very strong. The love and the bonding is very strong. But these changes are making you feel that the scales need to be more balanced. There should be equal give and take. There should be, uh, you know, for some of you, I see you feeling that if the scale wasn't balanced and one person was doing all the work, if you felt that your partner is doing all the work, I see you're going to level up and, you know, start putting an effort. And if you feel that you were the one doing all the work, I see the changes happening here. Uh, I see the reciprocation, more uh, willingness to give is coming in in your relationships. And specifically, if it's a love connection, which is very strong, somebody you just can't avoid, it's, it's definitely getting better. Page of Swords, feeling skeptical about something, I see... As you enter this month, right, in the beginning of this month, I see a lot of focus is going to be on balancing your relationships, your, um, I do see work life also and money life also. For some of you, I'm actually picking up that all the aspects of your life are going to get equal 
attention from you you're going to focus on your relationship and then you're going to focus on your money management as well financial constraints this is showing me that you're going to be deciding to wisely invest and you know uh, segregate your money the way it is needed i'm picking up balanced investment for some of you i don't know why i heard this balanced investment investing in multiple places making it more um diverse i heard this for somebody right you're not going to put all the eggs in one basket here and then as you enter the month i see there's some sort of skepticism on your mind surrounding <clears throat> getting clarity about something right i i page of swords is the energy where you want to know more stuff you you might be focusing on studying you might be focusing on researching for some of you money is going to be very important despite of the fact that uh, there are a lot of changes in your changes are happening in your love life as well but I'm, I'm getting here that money is going to be a very important aspect this month you are focusing and you are researching about money you are you're definitely um, getting more educated i don't know whether this is going to be an actually um natural upliftment in your courses that you're doing about finances but this can be anything this is some sort of research development and education happening surrounding money management i see focus on your dreams i see you very focused and um, thinking even by sleeping even while resting you have this on your mind that you need to take action about something i see in your dreams you're getting messages for someone specific i'm picking up that some messages are going to come through in your dreams some clarity is going to come through your dreams so be very careful i see universe here connected right and uh, for some of you i'm picking up there's a continuous thought on your mind that i need to take action in this front when you you're trying to sleep but this thought is continuously in your head that i need to take action in this front i need to do this investment i, I you know i want to get this um, resource management done or it can be love front also but i'm picking up i don't know this is so much surrounding money right for some of you i see there is an energy of concluding some things there is a realization for example in the in the first week of november i'm picking up for some of you maybe you know um, 4th of november to 10th of november that's the time period that came through i'm feeling here um capricorn that that i need to conclude some things in my life i need to conclude some things in my life there is something that is tying you up for example, there's so much positivity on your mind when it comes to expansion, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to ch bring change, bringing changes in your life. Wheel of Fortune. You know this is the good time. You know this is the good time to invest. You know this is the good, good time to... Uh, you know, this is promotion card also. Money management also. But you are learning something here which is definitely motivating you to take action but there is some specific thing which is tying you down this ten of swords energy can you see how this person is feeling chained here i'm getting this energy that you're feeling chained and you're not able to take an action that you really want to in your life devil i'm not sure this is your energy for some of you i see you're feeling stuck in a commitment in a contract page of cups Hmm. There's somebody you might feel that this person is too naive and they keep on making mistakes. But, you know, because they love you, because they have so much affection for you or compassion for you. You're so skeptical here. You, you grow skeptical because of this person. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that there is some sort of um, aspect of control. Like I can see this chain here and I can see this bondage here. For some of you, I'm actually getting this message that um, you feel chained in a connection. For someone, I'm picking up that if you are in a relationship or a marriage. Now, be very careful. Carefully listen to this. If you are in some sort of commitment, marriage, or a contract, for example, you have an ex-wife or an ex-husband, this is also valid. I see there is some contract or a legal situation possibly that's chaining you at the moment. Because of which, you're not able to make the proper financial investments and not just financial in fact emotional also investments that the way you want 
for example you are earning money you are definitely making money but then there is somebody who's trying to use or manipulate a contract against it and they're trying to drag the money from you right you are uh, feeling chained because of this person this can be a boss this can be but i'm not picking up boss energy actually i'm picking up this can be alimony thing your ex-wife or ex-husband or this is somebody who just knows how to tweak your soft corner because page of cups is somebody who is uh, emotionally indulged right there's some sort of emotional expression here somebody is manipulating emotions and the contract you share with them it can be marriage also to manipulate you to you know get money out of you or something like that so be careful with that that's the message that came through okay but this is not going to be true for everybody it's just that i'm feeling some sort of a chain is stopping you some kind of bondage is stopping you from exploring your full potential right so let's see where is the situation heading we're going to get a couple of advices for you also eight of cups and that's something that you really need to do you need to walk away because uh, for a lot of you if you are going to keep on feeling this bondage you might not experience the real bliss that you're looking for ten of cups lovers i see there is a very beautiful connection in your surroundings the problem is that there is something that is chaining you again base chakra is about security and finances so i'm getting this financial thing for you there is a connection coming your way and for a lot of you i won't be sure that you there's already a connection in your life, which is very beautiful and supportive. This person is definitely having some sort of money management thing going on. They're pretty attracted to you and nine of wands, yeah. For some of you, I see the problem why a particular situation is not able to... Now, another message I got here. If a specific, you want to be in a commitment with somebody, but it's not happening right now. Possibly, possibly because somebody is having their own financial issues, trying to manage money and they're very attracted to you, but they're guarded because financial security is something which is causing, um, it's like, it's like a matter of concern in the situation at the moment, right? As you're walking away from any situation that has been troubling you, 10 of swords, 8 of cups, you're trying to introspect here. Once that situation ends, I'm, I'm picking up that. The sense of confidence we were talking about in the beginning. I felt that you guys are losing confident, confidence or you guys are feeling underconfident in a situation. This partnership, Capricorn, is definitely going to help you through. This beautiful partnership, companionship is... There's somebody specific in your surroundings who is helping you, really helping you through here. And that confidence is getting restored. But for that, some, something needs to end. In your thoughts, you're feeling that I need to take action against this situation. And if you're not doing that, then universe is going to step in and change it. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's have some miscellaneous messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What else can you tell me about Capricorn, month of November 2022? Control. Like, this is no coincidence. I've been getting this energy for you. Taking back power, devil energy. There's somebody who's definitely trying to manipulate you. There's no doubt in that. What else? Young male. For some of you, this can be a child who loves to overspend. They love to have cars and, you know, sporty cars, youthful. Some immature person is definitely trying to... This can be immature. This can be um, physically younger than you. This can be a child who is definitely manipulating you for money be careful with that obstacle yeah blockages pathway delays and for a lot of you i'm picking up that uh, your particular situation is getting delayed because of this person it's a karmic situation You're feeling financial constraints because of this person that's what i'm feeling here right but this is bound to come to an end in the middle of this month, I won't even say middle of this month, even before 10th of November I'm picking up, the situation is bound to end. And you're going to face the climax between 4th to 10th of November, right? That's what I picked up. Wow, karma. And I don't know, I'm just getting this feeling that if somebody tried to wrong you, if somebody actually wronged you or tried doing that to you, you're going to see karma 
kicking their ass, right? They like to get their ass kicked. Because I do see some manipulative energy in your surroundings. Anyways, any messages for Capricorn? Advices. Advices for Capricorn. Your commitment is being tested. Capricorn, for a lot of you, I see you experiencing a, a very solid commitment towards your love connection, Ten of Cups and Lovers, and your financial situations, right? And then I see some sort of societal commitment surrounding maybe kids, maybe a younger partner. If you're married to a younger guy, this is an ex-husband or ex-wife. Or there is somebody younger to you who is using your commitments, your contracts and everything to manipulate you, right? I see it's time to take a break from this person at least because karma is definitely going to kick their ass. Wow. <laughs> take your time to breathe out because I see a lot of confidence getting restored once you decide to walk away from the situation and stop investing. Right? So I'll leave you here. Capricorn, thank you so much guys for watching. Bye-bye.